Niobe was the powerful queen of Thebes, married to Amphion, son of Zeus, and an amazing musician. She was the daughter of Tantalus, a man who dared to serve human flesh to the gods. His offspring was cursed and Niobe would meet a terrible fate. Niobe had seven children. They were so strong, athletic, and beautiful that they looked like the children of Ares and Aphrodite. The queen also had seven beautiful daughters, who delighted those who looked at them, resembling true nymphs. Niobe was enormously proud of her children. This immoderate feeling was the reason for her ruin. One day, a priestess from Apollo's temple asked the people to participate in a sacrificial ceremony to honor the goddess Leto, mothers of the gods Apollo and Artemis. The proud queen did the unthinkable. She interrupted the priestess and said that, if the goal was to worship and honor someone, then she should be the focus and not the goddess Leto. She boasted that she was queen of one of Greece's most important kingdoms. On the contrary, Leto was a wandering deity who only found shelter on the island of Delos thanks to the mercy of the gods. While Leto had only two children, Apollo and Artemis, the queen had given birth to 14, all so splendid that, according to Niobe, they could live on Olympus among the gods. She told them to forget about Leto and focus all their tributes on the Queen of Thebes. Far away from there, Leto was consoled by Artemis after suffering the enormous humiliation, but her children would not allow such an outrage against the gods to go unpunished. Apollo and Artemis' revenge would be relentless. Using his divine bow, Apollo initiated the payback. With terrible arrows, he went about slaughtering Niobe's male children. All seven sons of the Queen of Thebes fell after being struck by the shining god's arrows. Niobe was horrified to see all her sons dead and fallen at her feet. But this punishment was not enough to make the queen understand that a mortal cannot compare herself to the gods. Niobe, even after losing her seven male children, said that she was still superior to Leto, for she had seven magnificent daughters while the goddess had only one. So Artemis carried out the god's vengeance on the insolent mortal. With sharp blows, she slaughtered Niobe's seven daughters. The proud queen lost the 14 children of whom she was so proud. Her arrogance brought her on par with the gods. It was said that Niobe was turned into a rock and that even in this mineral form, the queen continued to shed tears down the stone.